Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, we're going to design a flyer from scratch. What I'm doing is revisiting some of my older videos, trying to present something with both better quality and better content. So if you've been waiting for a tutorial on how to create a flyer using Google Slides from scratch, this is it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to File, Page Setup, and set my size to custom and make sure I'm on inches. I'm going to make this an eight and a half by 11 US printer paper size, but I also want to give myself bleed, which is the little bit more space that the ink needs to go so that this can be trimmed down to the final size. That's what most professional printers are going to need, an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to set my dimensions to 8.75. That gives me a quarter inch on that dimension and 11.25. So that'll give me an eighth of an inch all the way around the paper. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about setting up your documents for bleed. And the reason I want to have bleed is because I want this to be a full color flyer with color that goes from edge to edge, corner to corner. Now that I have my paper size set up, I'm going to go to the slides menu, go to masters, and clean up the masters here. I don't need all these different layouts. I just need one. This is going to be a single sided flyer. So I'm going to get rid of all this filler content in here. And on the first layout here, this is where I'm going to put my background. Now I'm not going to do it from the background menu, but I will show you what that can give you. So I'll, I'll click choose image. And for this, I'm using a photo from Pexels. And what I've done is I've just copied the URL to the clipboard. So I'm going to insert this by URL. Now, here's part of the problem. This photo is more horizontal than it is vertical. And I'll show you what happens when we insert this as a background image. It squashed it. It also doesn't give us control over being able to change some of the adjustments. Like if I want to make this a little darker or a little brighter or add a little bit more contrast or make it grayscale, I can't do any of those things. So I'm going to go back to the background and reset it and insert my background from the image menu, which can be found under the insert drop down menu or right here, this icon with the little mountains on it. I'll insert it by URL, paste in the same web address. Now we've got our image. Now this is a high resolution image, so I can expand it larger than the document, then double click to crop it down. And this is really how you want to work with images. So they don't get squashed or stretched. And we can go to the format options here. And now we've got our recolor options. We can do all kinds of things here with it. Also adjustments for transparency, brightness, and contrast. And I actually want to make this a little bit darker. So I'm going to go to the brightness here and slide it down just a little bit. Now again, we're still in the master slides area. I have also a asset that I've created in a Google drawing. So I'm gonna to go to my drive and search for it. It's just a PNG that I've pasted into a Google drawing. And if you'd be interested in any of these assets, just let me know in the comments on this video. And what I want is just this linear gradient here that goes from black to completely transparent. So I'm gonna copy that and then paste it into my master slide layout here. This one I am going to stretch because there's no information in here that's going to get warped. I just want to use this as a way to create a little bit more contrast down toward the bottom because I'm going to have some info on this and it needs to be dark enough to put light colored text. So we've inserted an image. In this case, it's a image of space and we can double click on that to readjust the cropping of it. And this transparent PNG to give ourselves a little bit more contrast on our background. And that's it. This is the background for my flyer. Now that we have the background set up, I'm going to click over onto my first slide. And this is where I can start laying everything out. Since the background has been done in the master slide, I won't accidentally select those images or move those pieces around. That really, really helps with organizing everything on your page. The first thing I'm going to want for this poster is a big title. So I'm doing a fictitious event, just something that I've made up that's going to be like a space exhibition event. 
So I'm going to use the word art under the insert menu, word art. And my first word is going to be space in all caps. I'm going to change my font. And I've got Orbitron in here. And I'll make it bold. I'm also going to take off the border, make that transparent, and change the fill color to white. Let's move that up towards the top and maybe size it down just a little bit. Now holding down control, I'm going to copy that word, double click, and put in the word exhibition. And let's make this normal. Holding shift, I'm going to drag one of the corners and size it until I see those blue smart guides letting me know that it's the same width as my other word. I'll move it up towards the base of that word space and then using the arrow key on the keyboard, nudge it down just one or two times. I'm going to select both of those. Holding control alt, I'll push G and put that into a group. I think I want to fancy up the word space here just a little bit. So I'm going to click inside that group, make sure I have the word space selected. Then go to my fill color tool, go to gradients, and maybe make that this white linear gradient. Just add a little bit more depth there. I also might go to my format options and add a drop shadow now that we have those available. It's subtle, but that really starts to make this feel more polished. Now the design I have in mind is fairly simple. I want it to look like it could be a movie poster, something very visually compelling. So I don't want a whole lot of stuff happening. This beautiful, dark, mysterious space background and just a couple of other objects. I have cut out a picture of an astronaut and I'm going to drag and drop him in here. And having some cut out images really, really helps spice up your designs and keep them customizable. Now I couldn't have found this particular picture the way it is right here anywhere because I've created it myself. I'm going to crop, double click on this image and crop just a little bit more of his legs off here and move him a little bit further toward the bottom and zoom back out and see how it's looking. I really, really like this already. Now we do need some more information, but I want to design around this layout. So let's put in a text box. I'm going to grab the text box tool and draw in a text box here. And I'm going to make that text box the same width as my title. Let's go ahead and snug that up against the bottom of the word exhibition. And we'll nudge it down two times. For right now, I'm just going to grab a couple of sentences. Something to describe this event. And I'm just putting in some filler text. So I'm going to paste this in. Select it all and make my text white. I also want to change that font to something... I'm actually going to use Arial Narrow and keep this font nice and small so we have some good contrast between the large heading and the information that people can find when they look a little bit closer. This could be a place where we tell just a little bit about the event. Now I've got some space on either side of this astronaut image and on the left hand side I think I want to put a special guest. So to do that I'm going to insert a circle really just as a placeholder. I like using circles and we'll make the color our white linear gradient and take off the stroke. And then I'm going to insert some word art and we'll make it our Orbitron font. I'm going to also copy by holding control this text box right down here and make it the same width as my circle. Kind of creating this narrow section here. I'm going to go to my arrange and make sure that those are aligned to the center with each other. I'm going to select that area and copy it over to the other side. And I'm going to use this for the date and time and any other information.
Now we need an image of our guest speaker. And I'm just going to drag in this stock photo, again, that I've, I've already cut out. And I'm going to go to the cropping option and crop it to a circle. Double click and size that down to our placeholder circle that we have there. Now we need to resize the image. And I'll place her right on top of that circle. I'm actually going to duplicate that image. And I could have maybe a different speaker on this side if I had more than one. In this case, I'm just going to go to replace the image, search the web, and find a picture of a planet. This is still basically placeholder content. I like this one, so I'm just going to double click it. Then I can double click on that to resize my cropping. I'm going to get rid of that shape. I don't need that anymore. And then just for fun, let's go to the format options, turn on the drop shadow, take the distance all the way down and turn up some of the blur radius. Let's also make it more opaque by taking the transparency down and changing our color to white. So we have this nice glow. I want to make sure I keep all of my text and images away from the edges of the document because remember, some of that's going to get trimmed in this particular design. I really like how this turned out and we can swap out those images at any time so that we can reuse this document like a template for future dates or for other projects. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.